You're watching the Rick Van Man channel on YouTube. Hey there, this is Rick. I hope everyone's having a great day. So I have been making videos uh, for a little while now. I've basically been going full tilt at getting this van build done. Um, it's getting closer to looking more like a motorhome at the moment. A lot of people keep asking me why did I not just buy a motorhome? Well over here in the UK motorhomes are incredibly expensive and to get the same age and year of um, van that, I, that I've got here it would have cost me about four times as much. Anyway, in this video, um, I decided I'm going to make a video on this particular part of the project because I promised a couple of people that I would. And what I'm going to do today is show you how to make cupboard doors for your motorhome and make them look really cool. Now, you basically need 15mm um, laminated board. I'm using Conti board. It's it's not ideal Conti board is a little bit too heavy and it's a bit susceptible to uh, damp if you're going to get any damp on it um, because it's basically chipboard um, but you can get the the more expensive stuff which is the lightweight Voringer board which um, again is 15 mil thick and uh, but it's incredibly expensive so uh, I decided not to not to bother with it just for the doors I thought I'd, I'd just do the the, uh, the doors in Conti board so what I've got here is uh, a this is going to be one of my uh, interior doors for one of the cupboards and uh, it's literally uh, obviously cut it out already and I'm going to be using this edge trimming now hopefully you can see that without it going blurry um, this is obviously going to face off the edge this is 15 mil now on one side it's got a little lip that actually actually goes over the corner and uh, the other side is just flat, so it just sits flat against the material and sort of hooks over like that. Um, now, as you probably notice, there's a, a little, it's like T-shaped, and as it is, it's not going to fit onto the wood. So basically, you need to cut a groove into this wood. And uh, I searched high and low uh, to try to find some sort of a device that was going to do that without me having to go out and buy a router table, which would be really expensive. And uh, Luckily, uh, and I'm going to give a plug to the Self Build Motor Caravanners Club, somebody on the SMBCC suggested one of these. And uh, basically, it's a drill attachment with a tiny little um, cutting wheel on there, and it's completely adjustable, so you can adjust it however you want it. And it literally just bolts onto your drill. And uh, if you want to find one of these, it's, it's a wood shaping tool. If I'm going to what I'll do is I'll put the words in here, the exact search term that you use. I found it on eBay. Uh, but yeah, if you use this exact search term, hopefully uh, you'll find it. And it was about, it was un under £25, so uh, it was pretty good. And hopefully you can see the little thing spinning around there. And uh, anyway, what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut a groove in this door, and then I'm going to uh, put the trim on, and then I'll show you the finished thing. So uh, if you want to watch, feel free.
Okay, so there we go. That's a 1.4 to 1.6 millimeter um, groove all the way around. And all I've got to do now is tap in this stuff. Now, it's really important, this stuff actually marks quite easily. So what I've done is I've got a, a hammer and I've just wrapped a cloth around it. That's the flat end, that's the rounded end. I'm going to be using the flat end and it just, um, it's just enough to uh, not mark the edge. I'll show you how easy this is. Now you may be wondering why I've got carpet out here. Well again, this is um, this will become apparent in a minute. Now I'm going to start, I can't remember whether this is upright or sideways, but it doesn't matter. I'm just going to start at the halfway point and uh, just tap it in. Now you don't need to glue this, this is completely self sort of holding. Oh yeah, that was the other thing, duh. Got to make sure you got your best side showing. I actually think, let's have a look. Yeah, this is my best side because that's with the with the the lip being there. You want that showing on your on your best side. And I think that's this side. scissors right now you just need to go over it and see if there's any little raised areas that you've missed and just tap those in you should be able to see along the edge if there's like a raised bump you just tap it there you go, and it flattens it down. I think we're pretty much there. So this is obviously the back side. Now obviously with um, Conti boards, what happens is it uh, it can splinter when you saw it. I've actually used a proper saw um, on the jigsaw blades that are supposed to be splinter free, but you still end up getting these little chips on the laminate. So this is the back end of the board. But if you look at the front side of the board, you'll see there's no chips. So uh, that's a nice smooth, this is the front of the door. It's fully, uh, what's his name? Fully covered. And uh, there we go. So that was my quick little video on how to do interior furniture doors for your motor caravan. Uh, there will be more videos coming soon. I've taken photographs of every step of the way and I'm hoping to bolt together as soon as I've got time for editing um, uh, one or two videos uh, on how I did the entire build from start to finish. But at the moment I just want to get on and get it finished because it's been, what, three weeks now? And uh, <laughs> it's been absolutely exhausting. But I've literally I've put my whole life on hold to get this van done. It wouldn't be so bad if this wasn't my everyday car. This, you know, this vehicle. If if I had a driveway that I could leave this on and I had my sort of everyday runabout car, then I could do this at my leisure. But at the moment, this is my everyday car as well. So I just want to get the build done and out of the way. So that's exactly what I'm doing. Okay, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. I hope it was useful to someone. And uh, I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Thank you.